Uh, my name is Nana and I'm studying nanoscience at my master's. So my name is Sabrina and I study information studies. I'm a volunteer and currently I'm doing the Goodie Pack, which is a platform specifically made for the participants, where all the information at all time is available. In the AO Challenge team, I've been a part of the SOMI and marketing team, where we have been posting stuff on social media about what AU Challenge it is, what is happening during AU Challenge, and like advertising and getting people to join uh, the case competition. Usually during uh, the AU Challenge, I'm posting uh, stuff about what's happening when we're doing workshops and what's happening during the event. And also during the event, like bringing food, showing people to uh, the right rooms and helping out. In general, I think I spend at max two hours uh, on AU Challenge and that's beside meetings and physical presence. So when there's a workshop you spend more time because you have to be there and then there's meetings every week or every other week uh, which is around an hour or two depending on how much is needed. So yeah, it kind of fit, it, fit in well especially if you have a pretty tight schedule with your uh, study. I got out of uh, organizing EU challenge was firstly my English has um, improved a lot because I've been speaking it in like every day and talking to people in the group and writing to people and also I've learned to use uh, Facebook advertising and marketing and how to kind of use the algorithm to get out to more people and get people to connect with the EU challenge. People are from different studies so you kind of have to be more tolerant and have to accept more people and I think that's a really, really valuable skill both academia but also in real life. If you want to become a part of AU Challenge I think you should just do it. Firstly because you get a part of this group where you meet people from all over the world and hear about different cultures and work together and also you get a lot of knowledge with different tasks depending on what you what you already can and what you want to learn and you get a lot of freedom to choose your own task depending on kind of what is needed and also what you want to do. I can recommend uh, volunteering uh, first of all. If you're like me, not from Aarhus, then it's an, a good way to get to know people who are not from your study. Uh, you see those people every day more or less, so meh, spice it up. Second of all, it's a really nice opportunity to get your hands on like real stuff. Organis organizing things are always useful out in the real world. Uh, and also, like it's fun. We have a great time and it's, you really learn a lot about people and case competition and sustainability. So yeah, that's nice.